scope in three minutes. You collect the requirement utilizing a requirement management plan. You have techniques like brainstorming, expert judgment, focus group, context diagram, facilitated workshop, observation, uh, prototype, value stream mapping. All these techniques are utilized to collect the requirement. Once you have requirement, you put into the requirement traceability matrix, which will trace the requirement from the origin till today. What is the reason of the requirement? Who required it? Every single thing, a very big document. And you will also categorize the requirement, the requirement documentation that will prioritize, uh, categorize the requirement as a functional, non-functional quality, etc. Once that is done using scope management plan, we will filter requirements for the product and project and once we have project requirement it will be in a document called project scope statement once project scope statement is ready with us we use decomposition technique to divide the deliverable into small manageable parts that is called work breakdown structure the smallest or the lowest part of the wbs is called as work package rule of thumb is that work package should be a effort of 8 to 80 hours that should be what work package size is. The highest part on the WBS is called control account where management take part and any between any level in between can be called as planning package. So highest control account, then planning package, the smallest one work package. So the, in order to understand WBS, we have WBS dictionary and the number that we use to assign WBS is called code of account. Once uh, your WBS project scope statement, and uh, this entire things get approved we get our scope baseline now this is approved version of scope nothing can be added in it without going to proper change control procedure so we raise a change request to update our scope baseline if we try to if a customer try to add something without going to change control procedure that is called scope creep which is not allowed in the project management and secondly if you give more than the, what is added in the scope that is called gold plating again that is also not allowed so guys basically uh, when a customer in quality we discuss that customer says that uh, now the deliverables customer checks after the quality team has checked it once the customer checked those verified deliverables which was checked by quality team in the start now customer check in validate scope and when the customer says okay this is according to scope baseline not according to quality plan we check according to scope baseline if this says that it is according to scale baseline we get validated accepted deliverables so this is scope in three minutes i hope that makes sense